Many of us understand that this is a very difficult vote. This budget vote is always a very difficult vote. And why? Because budget votes affect all Pennsylvanians. This vote is for collecting from our citizens, asking them to pay. I can tell you it is far easier to give than it is to ask, especially in times like these. We have fallen short. We have overspent. We have a deficit from last year of over a hundred, of over a billion dollars. So what would we do? What would we do in our own homes? What would we do for the people that we collect from and what would we expect them to do? Would we borrow? Or would we spend down some surplus? The question becomes, do we have savings? Do we have a surplus in our state accounts? And the answer is most certainly, we do. In Pennsylvania government, special accounts today, we have got over $9 billion. And make no mistake, there is a surplus. So if you fell short in your home or small business, would you borrow or use some savings? Isn't that what we do? Isn't that what savings are for? This plan does not affect any programs. This plan does not stop any projects. This plan to fund this budget does not lay anyone off. This addresses a one-time shortfall, a one-time deficit being solved with a one-time fix, $9 billion in accounts, less than 10% of the surplus being used not to borrow against Pennsylvania's future and our children. This allows an opportunity to use our money and then pay ourselves back. I have heard discussion about our retirement accounts and we've talked about it many times in this chamber. Doesn't it make sense that we give an opportunity to add an additional $400 million into the accounts of our retirees and future retirees of this state? This plan enables us to do this. We would do this just like we would ask our citizens and expect them to do. This is a time when we should not start kicking the can down the road again. I'm asking my colleagues to make this vote in favor of our taxpayers, our citizens, the programs that we fund, and the future of Pennsylvanians. Thank you, my friends, and thank you, Mr. Speaker.